Welcome to the never ending story part 17, the epic fuel leak. Hi, I'm Tangles. This is my garage and this is my car. Good morning YouTube. We're under here today because of this. Here. Uh, the last couple of things I've done with the car. I've done a drift night this year. I've done the drags and I've done around one of the Queensland uh, the Ipswich Sprint Series the street sprints and then I was under here the other day looking at uh, my sway bar and uh, someone else with me actually and they noticed it that this had no bolt in it so this shocky is actually completely free of the hub it's, it's sort of jammed on you can see if I take this poke it in there you can see in there it's still sitting on the shaft or hub or spline or whatever you want to call it but this was not in there in fact this just you know I've had to go and buy one um, there was one on the other side but I I can only hypothesize that it's come out on track or so on the way home from the track it's come loose on track and then uh, fallen out on the drive home so uh, you should probably check your bolts <laughs> before you take it on track. Um, I got the wheel alignment done not long ago and it was there then, it was fine. Uh, I would have noticed if it was hanging out. And I've checked the most recent footage I have under the back and it's there and it looks, you know, it's not protruding out, sitting there like that or anything. It's, it's all the way seated so I'm not sure when it's fallen out. I assume it's fallen out on the way home because I doubt I'd make a lap of the track um, without it in there. Um, without crashing because uh, that's a kind of important uh, component for the suspension it's no longer attached I fixed the bolts in the back um, started up, started warming it up take it for a drive and I noticed I'm going to roll it back another fucking fuel leak I, I can't believe it how many freaking fuel leaks can you have in one car um, way back, I don't know, it's been pretty easy to trace anyway, the mountain's coming out. Good news is, started first go. Um, what I did, because it's been six or seven weeks since I run it, is I disconnected the, the igniter there and then turned it over. Took, uh, it took about a minute for the oil pressure to get up, but it got up. Then, uh, yeah, first turn, boom, away she went. But that fuel there, Jesus Christ, that's just an epic amount of fuel. I am sick of fuel leaks. I have to get in there again now and fix that. I was going to take it for a drive. Welcome to the never ending story part 17 the epic fuel leak. Uh, fuel's running down this hard line and see you're dripping directly out of my head it's wet here just here on this hard line but it's not wet those two connections above it so I'm not sure where, if it's the fuel lines actually split itself or it is leaking from up there and I just can't see it for whatever reason so I'm gonna have to start the car again and then have a close look so, down here, it was simply a case of this hose that comes out the bottom of the filter isn't, just wasn't tight. Now, I'd done these up before and I thought that they'd just loosened themselves previously, but uh, I wasn't sure, but I can be sure now that it's loosened itself. Um, so, I've undone it. It's not split or broken or torn or, or damaged in any way. It's, and the hose clamp is just plain loose. So, I have pulled it off uh, and had a look and I'm just going to do it back up. So, I've done both these hoses up down the bottom, despite only one leaking, just for sure I check the other one. I'll have to replace these clamps, I think. I don't have any that size at the moment, so I've just done them right up. Testing it now, there appears to be no leak be running for a couple of minutes. Look at exactly where the leak was and there isn't one anymore. Very different, um, different, difficult place to work. 
confident in my arm in there. Uh, burnt myself a little bit, but you know, shit happens. So, job done, time being, and I'll take it for a test ride.